before we are going to start about the laboratory experiment, we should know about the lab equipment knowledge. Okay. So first I am going to explain you what the equipment we are having in the laboratory. Okay, basically we are having three main equipment in the laboratory. One is CRO, this is left side one. Then middle one is regulator power supply, it is nothing but DC source and function generator, last one. Okay, this is AC source or function generator we are calling. Okay, I will tell uh, each and every equipment in detail. So what the knobs we are having for what is the function of each knob. Okay, so listen carefully. So before switch on, this is regulator power supply. This is called regulator power supply and it is having two power supplies here. Two sources we are having. Okay, then here if you observe, uh, before you uh, switch on this power supply, these two knobs should be in minimum position and last one, la last knob should be in maximum position. So here also the same thing for right side also and you can keep this uh, button should be in volts mode, not in amps mode. If you kept in amps mode, you won't get display on the screen. I will show you later. Okay. First, you just minimize these two knobs and put maximum this knob. Okay. So these two regarding this voltage and this last one is regarding the current limit. Okay. So if you if you increase the codes, okay, I will tell you later. First, switch on this regulator power supply. You will get the display here zero zero. Okay. So here, if you want to increase the DC source, right? This was means if codes wise means maximum increment will be happen like 1, 2, 3 like that you can increase directly. Up to what range we can increase? Up to 30 volts. The range of the regulated power supply is 0 to 30 volts. The range should be 0 to 30 volts. Up to 30 volts we can vary. Okay. So the point limit should be it starts from course. If you increase the course, if you use the course knob, it will increase uh, rapidly the voltage. If you use fine knob, it will increase in points time, points wise. Okay. Point 2, point 3, point 4 like that. Okay, these two are for voltage adjustmenting knobs. And what is about the current limit means, if you kept this minimum, though no current will be passing through this RPS and no current will be going into the circuit. So it will be very difficult for us. So whether we are going to take, uh, whenever if you are doing for experiment, Zener diode, PN diode, if you kept this minimum, so no current will be uh, passing through the circuit and total current will be absorbed by this RPS. So it is very difficult while taking the meter readings. So you always remember that this current limit should be in maximum. Okay, you, sh you should get this in maximum. So this here two power supplies we are having here, and then two wires you can connect here. This is phase, this is neutral, means positive and negative. So this is for ground we are using. This is for positive. Same thing for the right side also. Same story. V course means for maximum increment, finding means points wise increment, and this is for current limit. You just see here, uh, I am increasing voltage, and if you kept in amps mode. Will get zero zero here. No display, uh, no display will be getting here, right? Even if you observe, even if you increase this one, you won't get any display on the screen. Okay, so in order to avoid that thing, you just kept in old mode. Both that, both that time, uh, both the uh, dual power supply, you can kept in old mode. So this is regarding regulator power supply. I think everyone is clear about this equipment. So no issues here. 